Harry and Meghan's clear distaste for the royal family must now lead to them giving back their Sussex title or face having it taken by King Charles or Parliament, a royal expert claimed. The monarch's youngest son revealed on his Netflix series that he told his father that he and Meghan were willing to relinquish their Sussex title if Megxit did not work out. But more than two and a half years on, after six hours of trashing his family on TV in the past week, there are growing calls for the couple to lose their royal dukedom. Royal expert and biographer Robert Jobson said today Harry claims in his Netflix docuseries he offered to give up his title Duke of Sussex. Given his wife's distaste for our continual monarchy, surely it's time for the Crown to accept his offer. The title was given in anticipation of service to the Crown and country. MPs have also been plotting a change in the law previously used to take titles from war traitors, accusing the Sussexes of monetizing misery and using their titles to rake in £100 million plus from corporate deals. A poll for The Sun newspaper found that 93% of people said Harry and Meghan should be stripped of their titles. Just 4% thought they should keep them. Last week, a senior government minister described the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as clearly a very troubled couple, albeit one who had faced unacceptable press intrusion and said viewers should boycott Netflix. Employment Minister Guy Opperman told BBC Question Time, I would urge everyone to boycott Netflix and make sure that we actually focus on the things that matter. A Downing Street spokesman said only, it's a matter for the public what channels they want to watch. Conservative backbencher Bob Seeley has said that he plans to bring forward proposed legislation that could eventually strip the couple of their royal titles. The Isle of Wight MP suggested he could bring forward a short private members bill in the new year that could give the Privy Council the power to downgrade their status. Describing it as a political issue, he said, as well as trashing his family and monetizing his misery for public consumption, he's also attacking some important institutions in this country. Harry and William's relationship appears to have no real hope of surviving the latest Netflix barrage. Harry recounted what happened behind the scenes when the Queen summoned Charles, William and Harry to Sandringham almost three years ago to resolve the Sussexes' future plans after they issued a statement saying they wanted to step back as senior royals.